All right. So, while I was in the middle of the tropical storm and other stuff, just a day before that, I had picked up some comics. And I was waiting on a package in the mail. Now, open this package in the mail with these cards. One big haul. And here we go. All right. First thing I picked up was Indiana Jones, uh, The Further and Adventures. However, um, I already have it. It was a 50 cent book, so it'll go in my stuff to get rid of because I already have this book in a direct, so I don't need another quote direct. I uh, picked up this, number 52 of Iron Man and Iron Fist. I do have this, but this is absolutely one of my favorite covers of theirs. Even though it doesn't have Iron Fist on it, it's just such a cool cover. I mean, the raw power in it with him smashing the car with just like a, you know, football shoulder slam. Um, so I, you know, it's one of my earlier ones I remember as a kid. So it's one of the ones that I like to, you know, I go and pick up an extra one I do. Now. This is the Crusaders. It's a religious-based uh, book set. It came out a while back. You see a 39-cent one on there. I don't know if Metarog has actually got any of these. He probably does, since he's also, like me, collecting a lot of the Spiral and uh, ones like this. This is the Primal Man. And then the other one is the Ark. Now... These come out to 50 cents a book, as well as what that one does. I love the cover on there. Captain Cross. That's what I'm guessing. Number five. I love the half silhouetted done like that. The art on this is really beautiful looking. So, I mean, it's just, and it, they are smaller than the norm. Um, picked up King Kong number two. This goes along with the one that Dave Stevens actually does the first cover of. So, just kind of figured I'd take a look at the rest of the books. And this is uh, a bunch of keys in which I picked up. This is Adventure Comics number 309. This is Bouncing Boy's Origin, I think it is. In this one, not a hundred percent now after I did, but I think that's what it is. It's, I don't think it's his first appearance, but his origin. Uh, this is the first appearance of Element Lad. Um, that's his. No, 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 I take that back. This is something else. I'll have to figure it out. If you know what it is, let me know. I knew it, but I just don't know. Oh, it's the Super Monsters. The Legion of Super Monsters. I take it back. It's their first appearance. That one is the origin of Bouncing Boy uh, that it's in. I do remember the cover for it being uh, the issue. This is the first appearance and cover appearance. I think even origin of Ultra Boy. So... That, that was one I did really want. I love the cover. I love the simplicity of it. Of them just walking down the sidewalk. And then to him and the, you know, baseball stuff. Like he was out just playing ball. But yet he's Ultra Boy. Now, this is the Death of Superman. This is one of those uh, many stories that they always do on the side. It is the Death of Superman. And something else, I'm trying to remember what it was that was part of that. That makes this a key, but it is a, you know, a big one for that. It's number 149. Picked up this Popeye number one. Uh, picked up really super cheap in comparison. And again, everything here, if it's not a 50 cent book, it's a buy one, get one free kind of thing. So... It's not as expensive as it looks by the time it's done. And this book usually runs about $25. Uh, I got it for like 7 plus the discount you get with them. Uh, this is the redone version of Action Comics number 1. 
um, Superman sitting there smashing the car, and basically you see everybody when being running like the guy does on the cover. And this one I made sure I picked up. This is the last comic I picked up. Now, that is the first cameo of the leader, so I'm kind of just starting to work on Tales to Astonish and um, some of those types that they did in between when Marvel didn't have the cash to continue. You know, they had to cut their books down to eight books, I think it was, something like that. Uh, that's also the first cover of the Chameleon right there. So, on the cover, I think, I think before that, he was not on the cover of any of them. Now, again, now this is a bunch of cards. I, uh, like this, the way this guy had this, um, it is, you bought 20 cards. They were miscellaneous uh, movie-related cards from the 70s and 80s. Um, he said, you buy 20 for the price that it was. Then he, so I bought four groups of that because I was really trying to get at some stuff that I knew I wouldn't normally get um and again i don't know how he's got this all set up so we'll just have fun looking through it and see what it is also he made a mistake he sent me a email letting me know that he forgot to send the four packs that was supposed to go with this uh which i will be getting sometime in the mail later i'm hoping that he sent those the day after he did the other. Okay, so. Hmm. All right. Let's do the first stack. Again, I ended up with 80 cards. So we'll see what I ended up getting. Now. First one, looks like it's the ship from Aliens, one of them. And I say that because that's an Aliens card. Aliens card. Again, set that's not, you know, cheap to put together sometimes. So I just, uh, I'm glad to have a good little group of them. Again, this just shortens down the amount of cards I have to eventually, because first and foremost, I am a set collector. Uh, once I complete a set, one thing I like to do is have a pack from it. If it's still within range, I like getting the empty box and potentially a pack or a, a full box if it's cheap enough if not i like to get packs that i can put in there and just make it feel like it's my little store again good good amount of these and i'm kind of glad like i said these and i don't think they're cheapest to order the packs <clears throat> that, that is all of the aliens ones that's a pretty good chunk out of that set now this next set which I think is pretty cool, but it's not going to be mine. These are ones I got because I also was going to give them to my brother. 
He is a big Rocky fan. Here's the Rocky cards that come with this. I'm out playing stickball with the kids. Again, I do want to collect this set, but sometimes when I do stuff like this, I try to put them together for my brother first. If there's something that I'll get. And that way he kind of gets a kick start. But if you can't give, you, give stuff to your own brother, who can you give it to? Um, and some good cards for it. Like I said, I definitely want to get them. Here's another reason why I'd like to have these since Carl Weathers just passed away I think this would actually be really great cards to have with him in it um, not sure how many he was in of other ones but I do know he's in this set so all right now that's the ones I'm gonna be giving my brother now, and we'll move through. To another set that I think is a big deal. That is the Bionic Woman. Again, you can see the puzzle piece on the back starting to form. Again, I, I want the six million dollar man set. And I want the Binding Woman said. With people like this that I can order from and get, you know, a good little group of cards. It really is fun for me to do. And I, I think these... There's probably 66, which I think is what was in uh, the, the set for Six Million Dollar Man also, so I'll have to see. What I do is I create a sheet, I mark off the ones I have, and that way, if I have a choice, I will pick the ones I don't have. If it's a random thing, then I just take what I get kind of thing. Uh, but hopefully I'll get other stuff that I need. Which is like this. Um, Battlestar. Another show I love. I'm almost done with this set. So I was hoping some of these may complete my set of that. Again, puzzles on the back side. Given way to me actually completing my Battlestar Galactica set. And then I can look for packs and boxes and everything else afterwards. Alright. Now I'll try to calm down a second here before I show this. Let your heart kind of. Wait a minute. There you go. Well, Jane Seymour. Not for that one now. Pig face tourist. I've seen a lot of those being done here in Florida. Um, our boy Adama. I look at his card 122. Now you also, I want to say there's also a panini of these, so sometimes you got to be careful of that. Right, let me go with this one because there is more um, of the Battle Star Galacta in this stack to go along with whatever's after it. And 
Battle Star. Battle Star, Lou Apollo there. Destination Earth. I really loved that show when it was on. It was just fun to watch. Um, Lou Adama. Now, this did have some Star Wars, and I can say that I probably have all of them, but you know how that is, you can't really refuse. Like, I just bought this sticker, so now I'll have more than one of those. I don't get rid of as much my duplicates of real, you know, older sets. It's all out of the red set. Again, to me, just... This, this is memories right here. We're going next door, buying them from the store that was right by our house. I would buy packs of Star Wars cards from the blue and everything else. And I'd put together the puzzle. And it was just a beautiful way to remember the movie. And enjoy it again. And you do it pretty regularly as a kid. You'd look back through your cards all the time. Cartoons and cards were some of my first real loves of something even before comic books was. Now, the next set is Moonraker. Those of you who remember the James Bond. I do already have some of these, so this will help me with my set as I work on it. I'm trying to go through and remember which Bond girl this was at the time. Jambo, would you like to put your comment in the answer down there for me? I'd appreciate it. Um, I can usually count on you to know which Bond girl that is, so... I'm going to be real here. I might spot her in here and remember, but... But I am seeing uh, a number of cards I didn't already have, so that will be great. Again, I try to organize them based out of the years, the time I'm done, and then see if I've got sets of them. Now, here's a set that I, and I know I could probably say this about every possible set uh, during this time, but this one is the Black Hole. I went to the movies and seen this. I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, was able to identify Ernest Borgnine when later on he was in Airwolf. And realized that I knew him from, you know, Black Hole. I have all but one of the Black Hole comics uh, from the time. Uh, it's the hardest of them. I'd love to get a hold of the Black Hole figures and stuff. And the Robot War. Bad guy. Sexy woman with aluminum foil on her head. But you gotta love this. Can't we love this? I mean, and look, let's be real. We got Bob. You can't be, if you get Bob, you've already got enough. And then, Look at that. And, and I want you to look, though. Look at the back of those cards. They are so cool. I remember those guys. And then that one is actually them just out there on the black hole. And then that one's that way. And again, just how he was selling them, it was 
just a mixed lot, 20 cards. So I jumped on it because I was like, yeah, that sounds good. And Star Trek. Now I bought this set a little bit back, so this should be all duplicates for me. Got a little Leonard Nimoy. Just watching him in Fringe. Um, that's when he was up there pretty good in age, though, at the time. And all these come from the movie. I remember going to the movies and seeing this. And what was really wild is in seventh grade, um, they had to have us do something. So for a couple days straight, we went into the gym and we could watch this movie. They put it on this little, you know, regular size TV, like you would roll it in. You got to figure um, that'd be like, yeah. Geez, seventh grade would have made it. I would have been maybe going on 13. So, yeah, it'd have to be like 81. So, you can figure how they got it then. I don't know. I don't know if that's right when the VHS stuff was getting to be big or laser disc and one of the teachers had it. But they played that for us and it was just our chance to actually watch it. I remember thinking it was pretty cool that I could watch something like Star Trek at. Uh, school instead of actually having to be you know home and doing and we got some three different sets here and i think i got most of them so i'm uh, not well i might have most of them so uh, and there is one i'll probably put over my brother's pile if i don't end up having all of it for the one thing um but Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Remember going to the movies and seeing this one. And you will not find a Richard Dreyfus in this card set. Now, for those of you who go, hey, who's Richard Dreyfus? You're too young. And so don't watch my videos. And then the other is, is if you say, uh, he was in that movie? Yes, he was. And the problem with it is, is I think there was contractual things so that they couldn't use his image. So every scene really is everything but Richard Dreyfuss's character um, in any real part of it. Now, I do believe I am missing some of these, so this will help me kind of fill in so I can complete this in. I think I even have some of the Wonder Bread ones of these that I've got started. One day I'll have to do like a couple of weeks of just videos of all my different card sets when I get them more and more organized. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, this next is a show. It's a TV show that if you grew up when I did, you loved it. And it is Mork for Mindy. Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy was a great show. Robin Williams was at his high, literally. Um, I'm trying to remember the woman who played. Now you gotta love that. I remember the woman who played her, um, but I'll go back and watch this sometime. Even YouTube's got some of these on there, um, but I am missing a few of these too, I believe, so this may help me, and the thing is, I got this, I got his Robin Hood set, and I got his Jumanji set, so... Robin Williams has actually been in three different sets that I have, and I'm trying to think if there's another one he may be in. I'm going to 
know, if you look, you know, my sister Sam is eventually what she was in after this. Just beautiful. All right, now these, I may have, I'll have to look at each one and see if I got it, but last but not least, how many of us were terrified of the water after watching Jaws? Yes, Jaws. It scared the pants off of me as a kid. I remember going to the movies to see Jaws, the very first one. I remember thinking to myself, how terrifying that is. Just the idea of the sharks just, you know, lunching on her out there in the water at the beginning. And then I never liked anything. I had terrible dreams. I couldn't even dream of water after I watched that stupid movie and not dream of sharks. It would always wake me as a kid. And it was psychological damage at its best. So he, his movie did exactly what he wanted to. I mean, I literally would like start to dream. And if water come into play, there would always be sharks. And that would scare me. And it would wake me. And this is... You know, these are like movie cards. These may not be the same ones that I have. I've got a 3D set. This may be a different one. I'll have to look at where these come from. I may be working on putting this one together along with the other I got. Now, even though personally I did see two, I didn't really care for it like Jaws 1. Jaws 1 was officially you know one of the better ones the time everything was said and done all right that was it that was all the cards i got like i said he's got four packs of cards to send me that was through an error that he made but i think based out of what you see that i was able to get out of this it was actually a pretty good little stack I probably will do this one more time with them to try to see if I can rack up everything that I want to, as you see. That's a pretty good stack, not including my the Rocky. And like I said, I'm hoping maybe he'll send me some Rocky they already have here, and I could just, I'll have my set started at the same time. But that is it. That is everything. I know it's a little bit of a long video, but I've been kind of in the middle of everything. I also got to finish up another video with the card cleaning. I've got some Star Wars cards in which I want to show, and I'll probably uh, show those soon. All right. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the new subscribers. I appreciate uh, everybody that's been watching my shorts and stuff. I really appreciate that. Uh, the thumbs up. Uh, the likes, the comments, everything. And I will talk to y'all later.